In this video, I'll show you how to connect a transmitter to the 2500 automatic tank gauge. This procedure can be used for all Varic transmitters. Whether you have a digital 2910 transmitter, analog 8200 current output transmitter, or a 2557 limit switch unit. First, if the gauge head is oil filled, drain the oil into a container and dispose of it according to your local regulations. Then remove the back cover of the gauge head. Remove the cap from the cover, keeping the four hex head bolts handy. Then mount the transmitter in place of the cap onto the back cover of the gauge head using the bolts that attach the cover cap. Make sure to use the supplied gasket and orient the gauge correctly. You are now ready to put the transmitter on the back of the gauge head, but you need to make sure that the transmitter drive coupling slot engages the pin on the gauge head sprocket wheel. First remove the transmitter cover for the procedure. Then use a couple of bolts to loosely hold the back cover in place. Again, ensure that you have the cover gasket in place. Now turn the transmitter shaft so that the coupling bumps against the sprocket pin. Pull the gauge cover back slightly, enough so that you can turn the coupling just enough to engage onto the pin. And check to see if the pin and coupling are engaged. Try turning the transmitter shaft or use the gauge check knob. If it's good, go ahead and fasten down all the remaining cover bolts. If not, try again to align the coupling and pin. Once engaged, your transmitter is ready to wire and configure. Thanks for watching.